Amos live a life of sacrifice for Jesus. If the words are going to win the prize, take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation, soul by soul, on a ship proclaim the gospel. This is the vision, the chief is in me. An achiever in mission lives a life of sacrifice because he knows how to love, to obey the Lord, and to live a humble heart. Let's learn more, but right now, let us worship the Lord. Sing my soul, sing my soul, sing my soul. 
and welcome to another episode of Top of the List. Let me start by asking you this question. How do you present yourself to God? Hmm, that's a good question, Amelia. Oh, hi there! This is me, Ariane. And I'm Pastora Tessa. Romans 6 verses 12 to 13. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. Today for this episode, we want to look at how we can present ourselves to God. With that, Amelia and Aryan will give you four things on how we can present ourselves to God as living sacrifice. Number one, let God renew your mind. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. It's like a fresh start. We no longer get into pain with the trends of this world. We act and think differently. To be renewed is to have this change of heart and life. This renewal is achieved by God's power. It's a transformation that only God can do in our lives. So, read the Word every day. Talk to God every day. And by that, you will see how doable and pleasing it is to think and act in accordance to God's Word. Number 2. Live right. It says in Galatians 5 verse 16, But I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. It also says in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20, For you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. So young people, our body is not our own. So in everything that we do, we must glorify God with our body. When we walk by the Spirit, we will not indulge in the desires of the flesh. So we avoid participating in anything that will cause our bodies to sin. Why? Because God is living in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. Therefore, sin has no room in our lives. Number 3. Serve. Ephesians 4 verses 11 and 12 says, And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. We can serve God. We have a part in building up the body of Christ. So use your talents and abilities to glorify and serve Him. Get yourselves trained. There are a lot of rooms for more development. Whenever we use it for the Lord, He is honored and His people are built up. Those talents and abilities came from God and as a living sacrifice, we bring it back to Him. We only use it for Him. Number 4. Love each other. Romans 12 verses 9 to 10 says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. So there should really be no room for pretending. We should love one another as God's children. This is a mark of a true Christian. We show love to them by praying for them, helping them, encouraging them with the word. And you know, sometimes helping them requires us to sacrifice. But you know what, young people? It's worth it. Because we know that we are doing what Jesus has called us to do in the first place. To be a light to other people. That's it for our top of the list. Always remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Be a living sacrifice. We are Achievers in Mission. Hello, Amers. Welcome to our Amplified segment. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. We need to live a life of sacrifice. But we have to understand, how do we live a life of sacrifice? And we will be learning that from Jesus. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus sacrificed because of love for us. We cannot sacrifice when we do not love God. When we do not love the people, 
Our parents, because they love us so much, they sacrifice for you, Emers. And because they want you to become successful and to live a good life, they sacrifice for you. Our Heavenly Father sacrificed for you because He loves you. So we understand that when we sacrifice, we should also love. If God has called you to full-time ministry, you have to remember and understand that when you sacrifice, of course, you have to also love. Love God. Love the people of God. You cannot sacrifice for God's people if you do not love them. You love them and so you sacrifice for them. Secondly, when we sacrifice, we learn obedience. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship. We understand that when we sacrifice, we know that it is acceptable to God. It is something that is holy to God. And so, when we obey the Lord and live a life of sacrifice, we understand that it is pleasing to God. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man, and being found in human form. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. When we obey God, we are living a life of sacrifice. There are things that God would tell us to do, and so we learn to sacrifice. We obey God by sacrificing, by sacrificing our time, by sacrificing our efforts, by sacrificing our strength. We know that when we do something for God, we are sacrificing. When you serve the Lord, when you serve the Lord in the ministry, you are also sacrificing your time. You are sacrificing your efforts. And know and remember it would please God. It is something that is acceptable to God. Thirdly, when we sacrifice, we need to have an attitude of humility. Philippians chapter 2, verse 8, And being found in human form, he humbled himself, by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Acts chapter 20 verse 19, Serving the Lord with all humility and with tears and with trials that happened to me through the plot of the Jews. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3, Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. We understand that when we sacrifice, we live a life of humility. We cannot be too proud of ourselves and say that we are sacrificing. When we sacrifice, we learn to become humble. Amers, be humble so that you will live a life of sacrifice. If you would think that you are somebody, then you can never learn sacrifice. You sacrifice for God. You sacrifice for His people. You sacrifice for the people that needs God. And so you know that you should have a life of humility. In our life, we just have to choose either living a life of ease or living a life of sacrifice. But a mercy, God wants you to live a life of sacrifice. Choose to obey God. Choose to sacrifice for God and know that it would please God. Let me pray for you. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. God, we pray that you will give us a heart that would sacrifice for you. Lord, we pray that in Jesus' name, strengthen us. 
God, open our hearts, O Lord, that God, we would humble our hearts, humble ourselves to you, Father, so that we may sacrifice for your kingdom. I pray, O Lord, that God, you will continuously help us and teach us, O God, that we would love, that we would obey you, that we would humble ourselves to you. Thank you so much, God, because, Lord, we are learning that we have to sacrifice and we know that it would please you, our Savior, our Father. Thank you so much for your faithfulness. We honor you and worship you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Once again, this is our Amplified segment. God bless you.